We got the, the Scary Comp V9070, his newest one. His newest one, dude. Uh, let's debunk these. Let's debunk them. Do I need to turn down brightness or anything? Like, is it is it cool to just leave it like this, or do you want me to, like, turn it off? Nah. It's good? Okay. While driving down a stretch of highway, Felicity D promptly takes out her phone after noticing something down the road. It had caught her attention, considering that no other cars were on the road. It was just her and the driver alone on this highway when this was spotted. Yeah. Dude. Okay. Explain why you pull out your phone, bro. Uh, middle, of the, middle of the night, no one on the road. Why do you pull out your phone? Let's be for real. You're, you're putting shit in people's heads. Wait. And, and what is that, bro? Now this video takes place in Arenas Valley, New Mexico, where it seems that others have encountered similar experiences. Ghost sightings are nothing new to those who live around here, but this, as viewers believe, may just be the clearest evidence of something paranormal. Although it's hard as- Bro, it doesn't even look like anyone's walking, it just looks like a blur that's like following the road up. ...say as to what this was, you can see that something is moving before somehow vanishing. It's a bit faint, but something is there- It's a ghost orb. It isn't. Now, unfortunately, not much info is given on this clip, except that it took place in New Mexico. Yet still, as many have commented, no, good, this footage is pretty creepy. Just who, or even what, was seen on camera? No one. Nothing. Uh, we're not debunking that. So nothing happened. <laughs> on a Sunday afternoon inside a small retail store, an employee working by himself decides to tidy up a few items on display. It was like any other workday at the shop. Uh -huh. Johan Zalazar would clock in and start the shift by organizing stock. But as he does his job, he all of a sudden runs to the back of the store, completely out of breath and visibly shaking. Johan, in his own words, had felt something heavy drop on his shoulders. Not sure what it was that was on his back, he looks at the security camera recording at this time and sees something that terrifies him beyond belief. This is what Lock in, saw. lock in. Bro, he cut it off. We can't see what his hands are doing. Like he could have just been like move, rolling his shoulders or something. He cut it off, bro. I can't see you. It appears that Johan's shirt and hoodie is pulled by something. Initially thinking that someone had put their hands on Johan's back, he turns around expecting someone to be there. But to his shock, there was no one. He was absolutely positive that he felt something heavy on his shoulders. Yet, it seems that whatever weight he had felt was non-existent. I don't or, think it was pulled. So it seems. That's what, because no. as viewers believe, this invisible weight was most likely a spirit who was getting physical with Johan. If that's the case, then its presence was definitely it felt. It moved. It moved, but like, bro. Oh. Invisible weight was most likely a spirit who was getting physical with Johan. If that's like, I can't see what his hands are doing, so I don't know if he's like if he's like moving moving his shoulders back to where it like pull it like shows that something's moving back here, like his his neck. Yeah, his shoulders are cut off, bro. Visible weight was most likely a spirit who was getting physical with Johan. If that's like the case. I can't see what the other hand is doing, and that's and that's bugging me because he's zoomed in so far. Bro, all he had to do, all he had to do was zoom out then its presence was definitely felt. But whether ghost or not, Johan has been left terribly shaken by this incident. To this day, there Bro. is yet to be an update on this whole occurrence. Yeah, it literally looked like he was just raising his arms up to put something up on the stock and it just moves the back of his, uh, the back of his neck. Bro. Now 
the following video comes from a mother who for some reason began to feel an overwhelming sense of anxiety while taking care of her baby. It was just her and her son alone at home watching a movie peacefully when things took an unexpected turn. Looking at the bathroom door, she notices that it's wide open. When she last looked, it was somewhat shut. Seeing that something was different, uh -huh. she grabs her phone and begins to record. Whenever something like this happens, according to her, things get very weird. Once again, when someone is recording this, you have to assume no one else is in the is in the house because they said so, right? Like, it, there's clearly no one there, right? We're taking our word for it. It's a common occurrence, but on this night, what she captures is unlike anything she's ever experienced. On the uh -huh. verge of having a panic attack, she records the bathroom when now this is captured. What? Uh, it's an old house. Yeah, it's an old house. Please go away. Please go away. You're not wanted. Go away. Whatever you are, go away. Is it shadow people? Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. It's an old house. What? Oh, the camera's been doing this the whole time. Look, look, bro. It's been doing it the whole time, dude. It's, it's been yeah, like the weird. shadows have been moving, it's man. Occurrence, but on this, like, look. It's been doing it the whole time, dude. I am so scared right now. I doubt it. Please go away. It can't be spooky. Yeah, yeah. Spooky? You got pet names for your little ghost? No. To Nothing. say that the mother was spooked out of her mind would be putting it lightly. It's the fact that she pulls in her child after sensing something dangerous that really shows this. Now she didn't see it at first, but after watching this video, she saw it. At the entrance to the bathroom, a very distinct shadow-like figure appears quickly. It's actually pretty quick when it happens, so it's understandable as to why she had missed this. But seeing how fast it moves only adds to the creepiness of this footage. Whatever this might have been seems to pop in and out quick before seemingly disappearing. Seeing this and hearing the bathroom door creak Bro, has led her to believe it, 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 that something the parallel took are... place. But whether ghost or not, there has yet to be a definitive explanation for what was captured on this night. Well, he doesn't... Yeah, like, bro, that could be anything. It could be someone in the other room, like, moving, and the light captures it, shadow moving around. It could have been her head. It could have been her her head whenever she's moving around. Like, it, it could have been anything. It could have been anything. In the following video, a security guard is doing rounds at a hotel when she suddenly comes to a stop after encountering something very disturbing. Oh, here we go, here we go. This video took place in 2019 and was recently shared I by a, not be a shadow. security guard shown in the clip. 
At first, the friend who posted this wasn't sure if sharing this online would be a good idea. What was captured, according to Why? them, is something that the hotel would rather keep under wraps. Perhaps to avoid reminding people of a, a terrible conspiracy. incident that occurred many years ago. In 1986, this exact hotel, which was formerly called the DuPont Plaza, had mysteriously caught fire, resulting in many lives being lost. Guests had no choice but to leap off their balconies as the flames had engulfed the whole building. The sight of this was hard to bear, to say the least. But fast forward to 2019, when the hotel is now rebranded and remodeled uh -huh. under a different company. However, from time to time, strange things would happen here. Hotel guests would report supposed paranormal experiences and blame the fire incident that occurred years ago to explain this. The following video is a prime example of oh. what guests experience while being yeah, here. Yeah. It's late at night when apparently something pulls the security guard's hair. Take a look. No, like this could all be an act. You saw the way, dude, she prepped this, man. Look how she's walking. She like swings it one way. You can definitely make anything look like you were, you were like tugged on. Come on, man. Come on. We need a, we need more, more, more evidence. Looking closely, you can see that her ponytail is the first thing that moves before she tilts her head. However, its movement is anything but subtle. It's as if something had yanked her hair, causing her to jerk her head in a sudden motion. According to the friend who posted this, the security guard thought that someone had ran away upon pulling her hair. She, she's already moving her head before though, like right as it's happening. Like, what does he mean? Is she, it, her ponytail is the first thing to move. It's like in conjunction with it. But after watching this clip, that clearly wasn't the case. Her hair was definitely pulled, but it wasn't someone she could identify, let alone see. It didn't even, it didn't even look, bro, like, it, it doesn't even look like it was grabbed or yanked. Like, you don't see hair, you don't see hair, like, sticking straight up like this and then yanked, right? You, all, all you see, all you see is this moving at the same time. Her hair was definitely pulled, but it wasn't someone she could identify, let alone see. Yeah, it's like, she just moves her head really quick, and the hair flops over to the other side. She did it as she was walking, she moved it to one side, and then she comes over, she stops, and, and then just cranks her head again, and it moves to the other side. I, I didn't look like it. I mean, I guess you could see that it was like, you could say that it was pulled, but I mean, without without more, it's just like, not a whole lot to go on. What happened here, as the friend believes, was something unexplainable. But as always, I'll let you come up with your own conclusions. Uh -huh. Just what exactly could explain the security guard's hair being pulled? Well, that or she just wanted to get views on a TikTok or something? It's late at night, when a group of friends never decide to enter a hospital that's been out of service for quite some time. They would never come alone, unless they were dared to do so, because apparently, this place is not what it seems. Although seeming like an empty uh, facility yeah, devoid of any doctors or patients, the Felix Bonus Hospital in Santiago, Chile has been said to have a certain presence within its walls. Now thankfully, the lights are still on inside this hospital, which is a good thing for the group. The emergency system powering these lights appears to be running, but even with the lights on, the following incident remains just as frightening. This is what they caught. multiple people here okay he said he wouldn't come alone multiple people here just wanted to point that out there are multiple people in this building with him and if it's abandoned it could definitely be squatters homeless people whatever okay Yo, yo, bro, this is already disproven. Look how many people there are, and look how well kept the, the flooring is. There's clearly someone that does work here and still cleans it, bro. There is definitely, there is definitely someone still. 
still utilizing this space because the floors are so clean. If it was abandoned, people coming in and out, exploring shit, tracking in mud and whatnot, like, bro, come on. Okay. It is way too clean, bro. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, some pixels? Some pixels? Added. Added in. It happens quickly, but upon looking closely, you'll see what appears to be a silhouette of a person just walking past the group of friends. No one had noticed it, and no one realized what was happening. Yeah, because there was nothing there, because there was nothing there. It, it, it's so it's so hard to believe any of this because like one person says they can't they can't see ghost physically because only only dogs can do that for whatever reason. Only dogs can see supernatural, like animals can see supernaturals and babies, of course. Uh, babies have this superpower that whenever they're born, their innocence just allows them to see paranormal like demons. Okay. And then as you grow up, your eyes get this like layer over them that disables the ability to see paranormal demons. Okay. That just a theory, just a theory. Okay. But, uh, and then, and then you have you have people that have this ten thousand dollar equipment, and all they get are little orbs. But someone recording on an iPhone five G, uh, like uh, an iPhone five S, whatever, it, they they pick up actual like uh, beings. It's just not real. It's not real, bro. It's it, it's so hard for me to to say it's real. When people sit here and spend thousands of dollars on equipment and all they get are little orbs. And then someone can walk in with, with just their cell phone, their their Motorola camera, and and it, it it's able to pick up entire silhouettes. It's just, it's, un, it's not really believable to me. Captured until much later when watching the footage. Clearly, something had been there, but it's hard to say as to what exactly it was. Briefly, we can see After what looks like a reviewing the footage. someone small. But strangely, whoever, or whatever this was, goes unnoticed by the group. It's for this reason that they no doubt believe that this had to be the spirit of a deceased patient who doesn't know they already passed. But ghosts or not, it seems that what was captured will currently That's be it? a mystery. Out of the entire time they were there in demon hours, that's all they got? That's all they got? And they didn't even see anything or hear anything? Uh, bro, like, uh, they, they went in. They went in, realized nothing was happening, nothing happened the entire time they were there, and so they went back to review the footage and added something in because it was too boring, right? Like, taking place inside someone's apartment, a man immediately stops what he's doing to record this video as it was just now that stuff started moving. Um, and just stuff is moving, right? So this has moved. I thought it was because maybe one of the things is stuck in the, the blinds, and I uh -huh. closed the blinds, but that was one thing. Um, the bike then fell. Within the span of 30 minutes, things just started okay. moving on their own. This is something that commonly happens, but not once has it ever been caught on camera. But on this night, something happens that scares the living daylights out of the man. Hoping to get something on camera, he captures this. Uh-huh. Um, and I'm just kind of now trying... I, I tried to film other stuff when the bike moved and I deleted that video because nothing happened. Um, but I'm just, yeah, trying to see if I'm going mad and want to catch something. I've noticed things in this flat for quite a while, but I've always put them down to, like, neighbor's noise or whatever it might be. Um, okay, something this is throw the across the room. Time I've kind of actually seen things move. Um, but, yeah, so I don't really know. <laughs> I just... I want something to move, and I also don't want something to move. 
Uh -huh. If anything is here, please, by all means, feel free to move something. Move one of the leaves here, move one of the leaves there, I don't know. Where Yo, we... if a leaf moves, it's gonna be just the AC, bro. Like, uh, like... I wanna move. Move the bike again, or the remote here. Don't be scared. <laughs> Although I am a little bit scared. It's one of those horrible situations where you kind of want to... Uh, okay, off. like, like, hold on. Dude, it's already on the corner, bruh. It's already on the corner. Gravity plays huge parts here. I want something to move, and I also don't want something to move. If anything is here, please, by all means, feel free to move something. Move one of the leaves here, move one of the leaves there, I don't know, whatever you want to move. Move the bike again, or the remote here. Don't be scared. <laughs> Although I am a little bit scared. It's one of those horrible situations where you kind of want to... Yeah, off. okay. Yeah, there common is gravity. No way. It was sitting on the corner of a piano, bro. Like... Oh, hold up. Has it been there since the beginning? It has been there since the beginning. So it could have been inching its way over and then all of a sudden, a ri like, all of a sudden it decides it finally wants to fall, bro. Like, gravity just, you know, gravity is... Gravity. <laughs> I'm so glad I got that on, um, recording. Oh, I'm coughing all of a sudden. Holy Bro, you probably oh could have God. blown on that thing and it would have moved. Please move it again, you've done that much. Please feel free to move it again. This, by the way, <clears throat> has been propped up here for ages. This is. Yeah, we have to trust him, we have to go on his word, okay? There's no context, nothing. We just have to believe what he says is the truth. All right. Not been moved, it's never moved before. Like I'm actually shaking. And now, now that it's fallen, okay, if it falls again, well, what do you know? Gravity's doing it again. Gravity is, is like, the, it's the one thing that the paranormal investigators don't want you to know about. It's called gravity. Yeah, yeah, dude, that, that doesn't sell. But ghost, they sell. Take a little bit. Um, sorry for swearing, by the way. Um... You ain't gotta oh apologize, God. man. I'm so happy that ain't I just got wrong with that. On so. tape. And like this, yeah, this isn't like attached to anything. Like there's no, there's nothing attached. Yeah, to it. like, it's because gravity. It. I moved anything. Um, it's and been... he sets it in the same spot. Bro. Yeah, like well, I don't know how it was now, but it's been kind of propped up for a long time. I'm gonna lay it down a bit more. Um, oh, now he wants to set it in the corner. Yo, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Oh, I f knew. I absolutely knew that. I now, if it fell, it'd be a little weird. his guitar but... and showing an up close view of the neck, then this definitely would have raised some suspicions. No strings are seen anywhere besides those on the guitar, and nothing around it hints at the possibility. To be fair, he didn't move his hand around it, so there could still be a string attached, bruh. He didn't move his hands around it, but. I mean, the odds of it being a string are probably low. The odds of it being gravity, uh, probably like it, uh, well, well upper nineties, bro. Like ninety nine point nine 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 percent gravity. By the, the by, the zero point zero 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 one percent chance that it was paranormal, which it wasn't. Okay, because it's paranormal things are not real. But um, on that chance. Yeah, you might have caught something kind of lackluster, bro. It literally moved at like six, seven inches, bro. Like, ability of this being faked. It's the lack of questionable evidence that makes this possibly real and therefore pretty creepy. Yet this only gets creepier when noticing how sudden the guitar moves. Usually, when things aren't prop right, a slow shifting movement occurs before not always. it takes over and makes it fall fast. Not always. That's not true. That's not always like that. When it's something like that distance to where it falls uh, and it has something to fall on like directly, like it, it could literally go from here and move over immediately, like fast. This, however, immediately moves. As yeah, like it was sitting here propped up on this. It fall fast. This, like this right here, 
this right here, whenever it slides along, it's it's like obviously the center of gravity on this guitar is down here at the base, and then there's some weight up top. Maybe if like it had the same uh, what what is it? The same uh weight dispersion, disbursement. I don't know something something like that. If it has the same weight, it'd be different. It'd probably fall slower, but it doesn't, right? It's more heavy. This side's leaning off to the edge. This side's folding in, right? So this forces it to go on. When something's heavier at the bottom, lighter at the top, it can move that quick, easily. However, it Physics, immediately bro. moves as if someone had forcefully pushed it to the man. Whatever happened here was surely paranormal. But of course, whether or not that Yo, so is up to you to decide, was something supernatural at play. And it wasn't even that fast either. Look, bro, it's kind of slow. It is kind of really slow. Paranormal. But of course, whether or not that's so is up to you to decide. Was something supernatural at play here? Or is there something else that could possibly explain this? Now, not much is known about this next video, considering that the original source is unknown. Yo, where bro. It came from, or who exactly. If this, if this is in his house, okay. If this is in his house or her house, there's something mentally wrong with you enough that you would stage a video, bro. Exactly posted this first remains a mystery, but despite lacking any sort of context, the video is still pretty creepy. Taking place in what appears to be a museum, a group That's of a museum, people okay. an exhibit that is, well, a bit disturbing to say the least. So it's set up to be horrifying, scary, whatever. All right, so it's not looking good for you guys. It ain't looking good for you. It's set up in a way that it's supposed to be scary. So like things can, uh, they could, they could have uh, stuff that like buttons that move things or anything like that. You never know. It's set up to probably be a scary museum or something. As with most lifelike mannequins, there's something quite off-putting about these. But it's not the mannequins that make the video pretty spooky, okay, but rather okay. something else. Oh, Whoever shadow people! Video seems to have not realized that they captured something unusual during this moment. They didn't see that this was captured. Yo, dude, like, let's be for real. You cut. There's a cut in this. Like, look at that cut, bro. When when you're trying to have evidence of paranormal or something, you don't cut. You don't cut your video, bro. Especially not leading up to the events. Like, what? And then all of a sudden, it just goes to the exact moment that it happens. Okay, shadow people, bro. Shadows can be added in by any any software nowadays, bro. Like they ha they have overlays specifically for this reason, bro. You can literally just throw it on, and and just edit it slowly moving across, bro. Or or they have a like a green screen, someone in a in a morph suit and they lower opacity down and they just walk it bro it, like dude it's 2024 editing has gotten way better appearing out of nowhere a shadowy figure resembles what do they mean appearing out of nowhere it literally looks like it was just standing there like stopped before it before it even transitioned appearing like watch this it's already, it's literally already there. It's already there, bro. Shadowy figure resembling a woman is caught in the mirror. Its reflection is captured, but the person casting it is nowhere in sight. That is, if it was a person. While some viewers agree that it was a person in the sense that they used to be alive, many believe that this was its ghost. Seemingly dressed in a gown that a woman would wear during the Victorian era, uh -huh. a mysterious shadow passes by, unfazed by the ghost. They're in a horror museum. They're in a horror museum. I think that alone could probably discredit this. Group of strangers in the room. 
It's as if they've been here for quite some time. But like most videos, without much context. They literally look like the, the, the outfit that this mannequin is wearing. Probably same hairstyle too, bro. Without much context, it remains unknown as to who or what was caught on camera. Ah. If you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send, send them, over them over to scaryvideos444 scary at, at gmail.com. That, that being, being said, said, let's, let's get, back get back to the, to the video. video. Number 3. On the night of October 4th of 2024, a young couple watch a scary movie that's already been seen by the boyfriend. It's his girlfriend's first time watching the film, and it's exactly how he imagined she would react. They're already setting themselves up for failure because they're putting themselves in a scenario to where like scary things are bound to happen. They're, uh, he's already going out of his way to record her reaction. So like adding in something like purposeful, it would make sense. It would make sense. And then him acting scared, kind of fraudish. Completely scared. It's for this reason that he films this video. It would make for a funny right, clip, right. but little does he know, this exact moment would be anything but funny. Now viewers agree that it's already creepy enough that they live in a house filled with clown dolls and other horror themed items, but what was captured- be They live in a house with dolls and horror themed items, but she's scared of a movie from like the 1700s? Okay, it, I'm already, I'm already understanding that this is fake, bro. You love horror that much, but you, you're still scared of, of Chucky? A doll? Chucky? Plastic? Beats any of those things. As they watch this movie... Or The Exorcist, called... sorry. Uh, I thought it was Chucky. The Exorcist? The old one at that. This doll moves. You kill your mother. You kill if bro, if this is it, man, I'm about to I'm about to crash out, dude. I'm about to crash out. Kill your mother. You kill your mother. You kill Oh, I'm about to crash out. If this is it, there's no way. There's, uh, there's no way. Hey, common case of that gravity itis, man. What was meant to be a funny clip of his girlfriend's reaction turns into something they would see in their movie. Out of nowhere, the clown doll on the wall moves. Unaware of what just happened, she continues watching the film while the boyfriend remains speechless as it seems that the doll had come alive. While some think that the film had something to do with this, the couple believes that- Yo, the film is not possessed. The film doesn't invite demons into their house. Like, it's the exorcist. If that was the case, bro, there, there would be- there would be demons and ghosts in every single person's house. Everyone has seen this movie. Oh, bro, uh, I'm about to crash out. But something else was responsible. As it turns out, they live across a cemetery that's quite oh. literally down the street from them. The following is the girlfriend's footage. Take a look. My scary clown video. Okay, so I thought I'd show you that I actually do live across. If you see anybody moving, it's probably the groundskeeper, bro. Yeah, it makes sense. They work. They work night shifts to to stop people from uh, desecrating graves. It, it bro, it's their actual job. So we'll see. Normally, this stuff doesn't scare me. Um, but, but you were scared of the Exorcist movie, uh, dude. It's not real. It's not real. Walking into a cemetery at the like darkest hour and whatnot and you're like hey, this stuff doesn't scare me but you get scared of the exorcist movie oh oh my god 
but the clown kind of did. So then, according to viewers, it's no wonder why the doll had come alive. It only makes sense that watching a scary movie near a cemetery would lead to this. But as always, you be the judge on whether or not this is paranormal. Just what exactly had occurred that night? Oh. On a get sunny on, day on somewhere one. on a peninsula, a man records a video of an ancient fortress that was built in 1725. Obviously, the fortress Oh is my god, I've seen this clip, bro. Oh, I at the test of time, seeing that it's still intact. But it's not the durability of this place that baffles the man who filmed this. Instead, uh, there's like an actual jellyfish that gets on the screen. Him pretty spooked. He was taking a video while he and his brother explored the fortress. Uh, off like a, off like his Nokia camera, bro. Like Is Nokia this phone. Huh? Is this yeah. Although many tourists come here, very few know that the fort has taken the lives of many pirates who invaded the peninsula during the 18th century. Knowing this, the man couldn't help but feel a haunting presence while being here. Now the Wait for the jellyfish. HD, but the video still captures footage of something visible and quite peculiar. This is what was caught. Here it is, here it is, it. Okay. It happens on the other side. There's a, there's a jellyfish that gets on the screen. Wait for it, wait for it. Ah. It's terrible camera quality, bro. Wait, here it is. Look, the jellyfish. It's a jellyfish, dude. It has to be. A flying jellyfish, bro. Look at that thing. Look at that smear, bro. It's a jellyfish. Bro. How anyone can sit here and say that this is paranormal? Like, what? Bro, bro is recording off a, off a camera from, like, 1980s, okay? first thing then then adding into it it literally looks like nothing but like a blur moving the man who took this had no idea that something appeared around the fort <laughs> he further nothing asked that this whatever it was had been inside a closed off section to the public there was no way that a person could have accessed this area, as no it one had stepped definitely was there not for a person. years. Well, if we weren't worried person, about that, as many believe, then what exactly was this? Now it is kind of odd how, despite the video's quality, we can still make out distinct figures in the distance. But this, even from a not so far distance, is hard to make. Probably because it was edited in. Probably because it was edited in to an already bad camera quality. Out. While some speculate that it might be the spirit of a pirate who died while crossing the fort, others are simply baffled by the clip. Pirates! Although uploaded in 2023, this video continues to remain a mystery. Pirates! Oh my god. In this last video, a man named Connor Lyle recorded something strange on his doorbell camera. It happened on a Thursday night when no one else had been outside. Connor had just come home at around 8 p.m. and was heading towards his house. 8 p.m., no one's outside? Doubt. When suddenly, he gets the strangest feeling. It was as if his body, out of instinct, had sensed something threatening. Perhaps uh. thinking it was all in his head, he shrugs it off and doesn't think much of it. He but felt the aura. Him looking at the footage captured of that night, and his stomach drops. The following is his footage. Watch. He felt a ghost aura come up on him. I swear to God, if they do the shadow, if they do the shadow, oh, I'm losing it. Oh As my it God. turns out, his fight or flight response wasn't just random, but rather completely You're gonna man. For. Right behind Connor, there appears to be a shadowy figure walking by and then- <laughs> Oh. 
Ooh. disappearing out of nowhere. However, after seconds pass, it reappears again, but this time... A bit closer. It's as if no way this way is number one. Connor. Feeling once again immensely unnerved, he turns around and sees nothing. But clearly, as he would eventually find out, something was behind him. What this was is unknown, but judging by Connor's oh reaction, viewers think it's best if he stayed away from ever encountering whatever this was. While there has yet to be any updates from Connor regarding this footage, this incident continues to remain unsolved. Oh my god damn shadow thanks for watching oh my god bro. bro they gotta find more stuff bro they gotta find like actual stuff instead of taking taking clips like these bro especially making it number one number one for a, a shadow that literally looks like it was just thrown on top of whatever footage they already had like holy dude Like, it literally is layered over, bruh. It's layered over. It's layered over, man. And they might, they might have done the smart thing. Yeah. Fast Hold forward up. to him looking at the footage captured of that night, and his stomach drops. Yeah, they did a smart thing and made it to where it doesn't walk past the light because we would have seen, we would have seen the hard, like, hard ridge of opacity on the edge walking across it. Bro, it literally looks added in. It looks added in, dude. Uh, but, uh, at the end of the day, W video, W Bizarre Bub, I love them. I I love to react to them. Yo, it's so good, but like uh, some of them, bro. Some of them make me want to crash out. Some of them make me want to crash out, bro.